Welcome back gamers, this is Danny442 at the Nintendo K channel and I'd like to welcome everyone back to my top 5 of anything Nintendo that's in my game room that I want to show you guys and today will be the top 5 most expensive Super Nintendo games in my entire collection so I'm going to go right into the heart of it and as you are watching this video it goes from the least expensive all the way to the most expensive but of course it is the most expensive games in my collection so hope you guys enjoy and let me down below in the comments of what you think of these top five most expensive games so i'm gonna start things off with the first game that i got some time back when i first started this channel i was very fortunate to pick it up at a thrift store and believe it or not it was uh maybe my fourth or fifth trip to a goodwill and that was a time an era when it was much easier to find games in the wild that, is, that are rare or actually more exp very expensive in general. And that, that game I'm talking about is Sunset Riders for their Super Nintendo. This is a really fantastic game. I did not even know about it. Um, I think uh, when I was watching it uh, on YouTube, one of the YouTubers mentioned, I forgot who it was, but it was so long ago. I, I, I remember walking to a Goodwill, I saw this in a glass cabinet, and I said, hey, uh, how much is that? And it came out to be $3.99. Wow, I'm like, I I'll take it right away. And uh, that was, and it was a local Goodwill, maybe about 20 minutes away from my house. And to know that this is actually uh, a decent price game, especially nowadays, really makes me happy to know so. So, and it's also a really fun game to play. I did try out the arcade version of this game. It's fantastic, and it's a good rendition of that. So, if you ever find this game, I do highly recommend to check it out. A lot of fun. Another game that I did mention a while back. A couple years ago also that I picked up in a, at a, a thrift store um, and this is a very well-known RPG for the Super Nintendo and a lot of people do know about it and Square um, Square Enix have released this uh, through various platforms and you can download them uh, play in, in any kind of platform so and what that game I'm mentioning is Chrono Trigger this is again a very fantastic uh, RPG for the Super Nintendo there's not much I could say beyond that most of you guys probably know um, the story is timeless, the battle system is amazing, the, the art style is just gorgeous. It's made by the, the art style is made by the person who uh, designed the characters from uh, Dragon Ball Z, a very well-known uh, anime. So I do highly recommend anyone that never played Chrono Trigger to do so. It is one of the best Super Nintendo games of all time. Another game I did mention earlier in my top five and uh, it, it's close dear to my heart because it is my original game that I had since uh, I was a child. It's the game that I just, right before I went to the Nintendo 64, it is the last game that I played um, on, on the Super Nintendo. And that is Super Mario RPG, The Legend of the Seven Stars. Now this is my own childhood copy, like I said, and the, the gameplay is just amazing. It's the first time I played, I think this is the one of the first RPGs I ever played as a child and uh, to play you know I'm a very big Mario fan and to play Mario in an RPG setting is very different it, it, it takes a little bit to get used to it but once I got into it the story was great the gameplay mechanics is, is really addictive and the story is just amazing and uh, the graphics is just wow you know Super Nintendo can do something like this Some, something that I do recommend anyone to play it's worth its price if you able to get it even a loose cart you know, it goes a little bit of money, but I, I do highly recommend this one. But if you don't have the money, it is uh, available for download on, a, I think, um, some form on a Nintendo uh, eShop or Nintendo Store. So, do check it out. The next game that I, you know, I love a lot when I was uh, playing as a child, and uh, I love the cartoon series. If you did not know already, that is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and this one is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Uh, for the Super Nintendo. A really fantastic beat-em-up uh, game for the Super Nintendo. This this game has so much replay value for me because I feel like every time I play it, it's like I want like to, to do the best I can to beat all the foot soldiers, beat up Krag, uh, uh, you know, Shredder, all the bad guys the best I can to get the you know the score as high as possible. And it's what's cool is you can play as co-op with your friend. So you can play two two players together and it really is a blast. It's like a fun uh, game that you can play with anyone or you could just, when you're, you know, when you're tired from the day, 
You just put this in your Super Nintendo and just play, and, and it's a great game. This is what's great about this one is I also hold dear to my heart in this copy, is because this is also my childhood copy. Everything's complete, and I kept it as best I could in the condition as it is, and I am I'm happy to, to keep it as long as I have uh, in the way it is. So, um, really, really fantastic game. I do highly recommend. This is also one of the best beat em ups for the Super Nintendo. Now, the last game needs no introduction. It is a very uh, high valued game. It is the most expensive game in my collection. But, um, you know, the fun thing is, uh, I want to say, I'm going to describe it to you. It is not a very rare game, but it's very high in value. That's the strange thing about it, I guess, because it's a, a very high in demand game, but it was released very widely. If you're not knowing what that game is, that is Earthbound for the Super Nintendo. Uh, this is a, a game that I got a while back from another YouTuber. Uh, he got me. He gave me a very good deal. And it, it by the time that I, you know, a couple years back, it was already expensive. But now the price went exponentially higher, and it's just a game that people want in their collection. And and, and because of that, the price the price of it just skyrocketed over the years. I got this back about maybe four years ago. And you can imagine four years ago, this was much more affordable. And to know now this is the most expensive game in my collection is just mind boggling. But it is a very fantastic RPG, um, a great game that I, you know, I do encourage anyone to play it. It's one of the uh, quirky RPGs, has to say. I, I wouldn't say that it's something that I, I uh, a while back, I would get into right away, but I, I heard a lot of things about it and I got into it and love it. Really great game. So, so these are the top five of the most expensive Super Nintendo games in my collection. Please leave me down below in the comments of what are your uh, most expensive Super Nintendo games or any uh, expensive games in your collection that you would like to share with me or any, anyone else on this video. So this is Danny442. I appreciate a thumbs up if you especially like this video and subscribe to your channel. That helped me a lot. And uh, please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter where you see the latest happening in the collecting world. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.